Hello, this will be a sort of quick video going over how to do some really basic binary or hex editing within Vim. It, I'm assuming you have XXD installed as a sort of hex dump or hex reversal tool. It should be installed as part of Vim, I think, if I remember correctly, and or NeoVim. I'm going to use NeoVim, but they work, you know, pretty much the same for this. But this can be useful if you're looking at, say, like object dump output or I don't just binary machine code for whatever files or things you happen to be messing with. In my case, I wanted to learn a little bit of a little bit more machine code or refresh on it for really basic BIOS bootloaders in some situations, just as like test things, maybe for demo scene work or something. But um, I don't have anything here right now, so I'll just make an example little tiny file here. I'll just assemble something. Let's say I want to have just a basic text mode screen. Color text mode here, and we just won't do anything. We'll just jump here forever, not do anything. We could halt, I'll halt, so it's not wasting CPU stuff. Um, let's say 510, because I need to do a boot sector. Just define by zero there. Let's define AA55, and this will be a valid boot sector. It'll change the screen and then halt and do nothing. All right, so let's say we have that. We have a, a binary file here, which should be 512 bytes. So if we look at that, we have our bytes that we input. This is this stuff. We have the 55 AA at the bottom. That's fine. So we should be able to go through and load it, say with keymu here. We'll just have FDA right now and test.bin, and that loads just to make sure it's valid. But what if we made a mistake or we want to edit and change this stuff in there, just in plain hex, we'll say. We'll look at test.bin, we have, oh, what is this? Just random garbage, random crap here. We need to be able to look at that. So I'll change it to XXD and, oh, Vim, what are you doing? You added a new line. Oh, I don't like that it does that by default. You can disable that. Uh, with either no end of line or no fix end of line, just to see what that does. EOL at the end of a file will be restored if missing. So I tend to turn that off if I want to edit with binary. Oh, uh, if you want it off for any new file, you can turn this off. Or for binary specifically, there is a binary option set, and this doesn't really matter. There's also a regular end of line option you can mess with. Let's say binary. You can set plus plus bin when you invoke vim or neovim. And I am just going to, let's look at what that does first. It sets these things here. Text width is zero, wrap margin zero, mode line off, expand tab off. What you type is what you get effectively. There's a dash B argument. I just like setting this at runtime. And I also made a key to set binary at runtime inside of my uh, vimrc, or for neovim, my init dot vim file here. So to set that, I wasn't using alt h for anything or meta h. Normally maybe it's backspace or something, but I have it set to meta h and I've set binary. This little exclamation mark, binary is a boolean within vim here, so that just toggles that boolean on or off. By default it's off, so that'll toggle it on and off whenever I press alt h. Um, alternatively, maybe you have something else. Maybe we can do like Alt Shift H to turn it off and Alt H to turn it on. And that may be, um, let's just exit out of this and go back in. That may be easier to read for you. Alt H, Alt Shift H, just to be explicit there. But if we set binary and then we open the file, we don't have that new line added at the end and you can go ahead and you know overwrite these if you want with bytes. This isn't the best hexadecimal or binary editor. If you delete stuff in the middle, it's not great because it's <laughs> you run out of the formatting and it's, it's not gonna effectively convert it correctly from XXD. But after you make changes here, let's say we had a mistake and this was reversed down here because that's easy to do sometimes and when you forget how little Indian works and you're inputting bytes. So let's say we do that. I wanna save the file back to its binary form. I'm gonna run XXD again on the whole file, the percent sign, you know, pipe it to some shell command with exclamation mark, we'll run xxd-r for reversal. So it'll reverse this, this textual representation back into the, the binary representation here. And then I'll write and quit. So just to make sure the bytes I entered were there, I'll just double check and that's there. 
So this is not going to work for like a bootloader, for example. Yeah, I386, that's fine. Because we messed up the final two bytes. You're like, oh, I messed up. We couldn't find anything. No bootable disk. That's not good. So maybe you have an effect on something, have, a, have an issue you want to fix. So let me set binary first. We'll go back. I notice, hey, the end of the file, that's not good. Let's replace that. And I'll just do 55AA. Again, we'll run the reversal on there, and then I'll right quit. And then I'll run this. Hey, we have a valid boot sector again. So that's just some examples that I learned um, that I wanted to pass on, because I had to research that the other day, because somebody asked about editing this in Vim, because I've been using hexadecimal mode in Emacs, and I don't use Emacs now for... I haven't used Emacs for a while, so <laughs> I wanted to know how to do it within Vim. So there you go. I am using XXD. You can input technically. If you go into insert mode and do control V and then I think X, you can input hexadecimal values. So X55, but it'll put sort of the character representation. So it's not really a great way of doing that. I think you can put Unicode as well. So insert mode, control V, lowercase u for Unicode, and then like four fives and puts whatever that is. So, <laughs> uh, But that's a basic way of editing sort of hexadecimal files within Vim. I just pipe the whole buffer to XXD and mess with that. We could, I suppose, um, also set binary again, because I forgot to do that. We could just do a dash P, which will just have a string of bytes, and that may be easier if you know what you're looking for, depending on what you're editing. A string of bytes there. I suppose we could look at the representation as well, maybe, if we pipe that to a disassembler. I'm not sure in disassembly takes the buffer that we're looking at, though. You figure it would, but I don't think it does. So we say real mode. Yeah, it doesn't. So that's okay. <laughs> if we wanted to put that in here, we would run, you know, the regular command here. We'll say real mode for our test.bin file. So that's one way if you want a different workflow within Vim that you're messing with things. That's one way to do it. Uh, go at the top just to make sure what we're doing. This is what I entered in. Yep. Okay. So that's a basic way of editing binary or hex within Vim. Hope you found that uh, elucidating. <laughs> you maybe you learned something, maybe not. I thought it was interesting. So yeah, if you want to see more sort of small, short videos like this, let me know. I can look at other topics or search other things. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.